By converting digital data into analog signals, DAX can directly influence the overall sound quality and character of your audio experience. Today we'll explore the SMSL D0100 Pro, a new option in the lower midrange price segment. Let's see how this DAC can bring you lots of joy and room for tinkering. Is it built like a tank? No, but you wouldn't expect it to be for a bit over $200. Is it constructed poorly then? Nope, not that either. Pick it up and you might be surprised. On one hand, it feels quite lightweight, despite clocking in at nearly 1.5 kg, or over 3 pounds. But on the other hand, it features a full aluminum body, not the thickest one, but it's miles ahead of being made out of plastic. The bottom is supported by 4 rubber feet, which can be upgraded if needed, as they are held down by screws. They do a decent job, the unit doesn't slide very easily on the desk. The top has a high-res audio wireless sticker, which is a nice addition, but it doesn't mean anything useful for the actual sound quality, as far as I'm aware. SMSL D0100 Pro features a front screen that can display lots of useful information, like the current sampling rate, the input you're using, the high-frequency digital filter, brightness, and the DPLL value, more on which later. A retro-style knob located on the right side is plastic, and it has some wobble, but that's not a very big issue, as it's fully digitally stepped with a distinct tactile feel. It lets you go through all the options and set them up the way you want. On the back, you will find all the I.O. An AC input with a power switch, USB-C for digital connections, a Bluetooth antenna port for wireless audio streaming, HDMI ARC, optical toslink, and coaxial port. And for the analog outputs, there are single-ended RCA and balanced XLR outputs. It's worth noting that the D0100 Pro is a balanced DAC internally, and I noticed a slight improvement in the overall sound quality when using the XLR ports. Now onto the features. There is a lot. It can encode the most controversial formats on the earth, MQA and MQA CD. No matter whether you're going to use it or not, it's always nice to have. It has two high-end new generation ESS DAC chips that work together with six high-end OPA1612 dual op-amps. The brand new third generation Exmos chip supports up to PCM32 bit at 768 kHz and the DSD512. There are two USB modes to choose from, 1.1 and 2.0 depending on the device you're connecting it to. It can decode DSD as well as DOP64. Comes with a remote control that's lightweight, but does its job just fine. Let's you pick from multiple digital filters, and the ESS chips feature a DPLL value control, a special function usually not being exposed to the end user. This function allows you to select a value between 1 and 9 based on the clock jitter and accuracy. If the clock stability is high, you can decrease this value to improve system performance and achieve slightly superior sound quality. On the other hand, increasing this value would be beneficial if you encounter a significant amount of clock jitter, leading to audio artifacts such as digital noise and pops. The maximum supported PCM sample rate is 768 kHz at 32-bit dynamic range which is very close to the highest possible PCM resolution you can achieve. This leaves you with a lot of headroom for upsampling software like HQ Player or PGGB. That's a lot of functions for a DAC in this price category. But how well does it sound? First of all, it's solid. Really solid. There are no sonic issues with it that could be bothersome. It leans slightly to the analytical side of tonality, likely due to the ESS DAC chips used inside. However, it's not sharp or unpleasant. And if you don't like the ever so slightly enhanced top-end presentation, you can use a faster and more aggressive filter. For systems that are neutral or slightly lacking in treble detail, the D0100 Pro is unlikely to push things into the excessively bright territory. In these cases, it could potentially enhance clarity, detail and definition without introducing any harshness. But besides that, the tonal presentation is rather neutral, without any added warmth or bass energy. Resolution-wise, it's a bit above average. I would say it can resolve details fairly well on a macro scale, 
as you would expect from a modern DAC, and it does just fine on a micro scale. Unless your expectations are sky high, you won't be disappointed. The soundstage presentation isn't huge, but it doesn't collapse in any of the dimensions. Width is there, depth is there, and height is also there, but to a lesser extent. Of course, it does not sound huge like top-of-the-line DAX, that cost multiple times more. But it's definitely not collapsing the sound and making it tiny. Finally, let's talk dynamics. It's not room-shaking, not at all. But what I feel it's doing is being true to source and capable enough for most kinds of music and gear. But generally, I felt a slight sense of softness. Not particularly lack of dynamics, but softness. That didn't bother me much, and it's already miles ahead of SMSL's lower-end products. In terms of the D100 Pro, I think it's priced well. It doesn't break any world records, but it's just a good sounding DAC for this price, which can be a decent step up from some cheaper units. It lets you have fun with lots of options, adjust them to your liking, and explore different flavors of digital audio.